Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira and today I'm going to show you how to use the new functionality to consume REST APIs. So don't leave and learn Mendix with me. So let's start by going to your module. You can right click, go to add other and now in this version, we have one option called Consume REST Service Beta. So let's click. Here we can uh, give a name to the service. So we can just write PRS, Consume REST Service. And then I'm going to write code because we are going to consume a service that will return code. So click OK. And then here you can see that we have options so in general area we have the request name here i'm going to set the request name as random quote method it's going to be get but you have the other options so get post put and patch here on this input you will set the url of the service so to do this i'm going to open browser and go to this public REST API, so famous code. I'm going to use this service from the Rapid API. And here we can get some information. So in this case, I'm going to copy the URL of the service. And here we can go to configuration and authentication and set as a base URL the link we just copy. And uh, as authentication, you have here no authentication or basic authentication. So in this case, I'm not going to use this type of authentication. So I'm going to use uh, a few headers. So click OK. So here you can see that now we have the base URL. To set the authentication, we can go to headers. And here you can go back to the browser and see that is necessary to insert these two headers. So you can just copy the first one, create a new one. And here you have multiple options to select. But in this case, I'm going to set a custom. And here you can insert the key and copy your API key. So let's just copy and paste on the studio. Click OK. So we need to set another one. So you can copy also the host. So copy all this information regarding your service and paste it here. Click OK. And now we need to set the, the endpoint of the service. So go back to browser. And here I'm going to get this endpoint. So just copy this part saying random. Paste it here. And now we can click to send. As you can see, it returns at 200. So that means everything is okay. We can save and now go to our microflow. So double click and here you can go to the toolbox and on the integration activities you have one extra so you can just drag and drop the one that says send rest request double click and here we can select the service we just create so random codes click to select and because we don't have any parameters for now uh, we can just click OK. We need to do one extra thing that is inside the service. You can go to response structure. Here you can set a name to the entity that is going to get all the information. So here I'm going to call it code and click create entity. If you go to your domain model, you can see that you have now one non-persistent entity go back to your microflow double click on your activity and here you have one 
extra option so it's to to return the value click yes and now we have access to a list right click that code list as a return value go to the properties give permissions to your microflow go to your home page and here we can just go to the toolbox and drag and drop a data grid double click data source we can get the microflow and select the one that we are using click ok let's add all the columns click ok again and for now we can just remove these two buttons go to properties and make sure that you also give access to the user role and let's try and then we go back here and create a new request with some parameters but for now let's test if everything went well So click to view app and as you can see it works so we have a code here let's go back to the service page and here as you can see we can uh, insert some parameters to the endpoints and let's do it so go back to the studio go to your service and here you have a parameters tab you click to add so the first one is category and we can use as a test value all and we have another one called count and as a test value you can set five click ok go to the url and here you can add a question mark and now right category open curly brackets and write category and close it actually it's missing one equal sign before the curly brackets so let's add and now you can also insert the end sign count equal sign curly brackets and write count and close it save go back to your microflow double click and make sure that the parameters has been updated click ok ok again and you can run again the server Now, if everything went well, we will see five entries. So let's check. And perfect. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave the like and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.